75 feet 10 inches tall, weighing at 158 pounds, with a mixed martial art record of two wins and no losses, representing a hybrid faction, Valhalla and Team Hard Drive. Sponsored by CX Gear, Promayor, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This is the new breed, Eric Koch. Eric Koch, 5'10", 158 pounds, construction worker, 18 years old. He's out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Trains out of hybrid faction. His uh, principal trainer is Keone Koch. 2-0 uh, is a pro. Not a bad record for an 18-year-old to have. What do we know about Mr. Coke? Well, his ambition, he says, is to get to the top, and his self-describes dial is well-rounded. This is the same team that also we see uh, saw Jesse Lennox from, so I'm expecting some good things. And again, in mixed martial arts, it's just taking the world by storm. You got these young, explosive athletes. This kid doesn't even look old enough to shave, let alone get in the cage. <laughs> Sometimes when your teammates come in and they've won, you're either going to go one way with that. It's either going to juice you up, you're going to get excited, or you're going to get even more nervous because you don't want to be the first guy on your team to lose. All right, let's meet his opponent. His opponent now entering the cage, headed by B, 10 inches tall, playing at 160 pounds, with a mixed martial art record of three wins and one loss. Representing the mighty Roberts War Party Fight Team, Representing the Muskoki Nation from Team Iowa, Pace is Prentice or Woo the Second. Prentice Wolf, 5'10", 160 pounds, a popular fighter here in mainstream mixed martial arts. Again, another kid who doesn't look like he even is old enough to shave. He's out of Tama, Iowa. Robert's War Party Fight Club is his school and he's a very disciplined fighter. What do we know about Prentice? Well, again, he says that ground and pound is what his opponent should fear. He's not sure about his predictions. What he does know, what mixed martial arts does mean to him, it's a sport, it's fun, and it's a hobby. I'm sorry, kids, you don't play mixed martial arts. You fight. It's not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. It's a passion. When you get into this cage coliseum, you'd be ready to rumble. He's looking forward to the Vern Jefferson, John Strawn lightweight matchup later tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Eric Koch out of Cedar Rapids, the local favorite at 18 years old, 5'10", 158 pounds, versus Prentice Wolf out of Tama, Iowa, 19 years old, 5'10", 160 pounds, virtual carbon copies of each other. Ain't no youth advantage here. All righty. Getting ready to get underway here. Again, another southpaw, a left-hander versus a right-hander. That's what we saw in our first fight tonight. Let's see if the southpaw jinx is going to be in effect. Prentice Wolf in the black and red trunks. You're taking a good look at him right now. There he is in the black and red fiery trunks. We'll be squaring off against Eric Koch in the red trunks. Again, both of them very youthful. There will be no youth advantages here. Uh, look for great gas tanks, if nothing else. These kids, man, you can just take a lick and keep on ticking. Round one underway in the lightweight matchup. Good one-two combination starting out, going into the clinch. Got a got a under tempting bolt under hooks. What he's going to try and do is dump him into there. He goes, dump him onto the mat, and oh, he's got his back right away. Very bad position. He's got one hook in. He's trying to get the other. He's almost got both hooks in with his legs. And he's working, uh, he's holding on, nice little left hook there. Remember the, the strike set up the submissions, good. Softening up, he's playing with his food a little bit before he eats it. <laughs> Prentice Wolf looking to control those wrists so that uh, he doesn't get in any kind of major trouble on the choke. Coke looking very good here. Keeps improving his position incrementally here, very disciplined. Very good jiu-jitsu game again for you viewers at home it doesn't look like much but this is a hard position to defend in in portuguese in brazilian jiu-jitsu it's called the macleo the lion killer or we call it in english the rear naked choke that's what he's looking for there he's gonna either pound him out from there reach one of his arms around and try and put him in the rear choke he's keeping those hooks in pretty good good control position 
So when you talk about the hooks, you're talking about those feet, wrapping them around Prentice's legs so he can't spin up. Yes, yes. And again, he, he what Prentice needs to do is either try and work out the back door or possibly roll into a better position. There you go. He's getting it locked. He's grabbing the bicep. Once he gets that bicep of his other arm that isn't choking, it's a very good way to lock in that choke. Prentice Wolf showing good Good poise as a 19-year-old. He's not panicking, uh, but he's about a couple minutes away from panicking. If this position maintains it, it's just how long can he defend from this position? Oh, he looks like he's in some trouble now. He's starting to suck it back. Yeah, now it, he, it looks deep now. Now he's taking both hands and doing what's called a schoolboy choke. Normally in the rear naked choke, you lock your bicep and hook the arm around. He's just locking both hands together. Eric Koch is Again, incrementally improving his position deeper and deeper with the choke. Prentice Wolf tapping out!